All right, we're finally at the point where we can start learning some of the most important Excel formulas. And to get us started, we'll begin with perhaps one of the most important and powerful formulas, which is the VLOOKUP formula. Um, and to actually demonstrate the utility and how powerful it is, we'll actually go through uh, another example. And what I have in front of me right now is this patient appointments data set that we've been using all along. And on top of that, I have a second data set, and you can find this also in the project uh, details. So we'll have a download link to this data set. But I actually have information as to whether or not a particular uh, neighborhood is wealthy or not. And in this case, um, zero being not wealthy and one being um, a wealthy neighborhood. Now this data is made up, it's imaginary. So um, if you happen to live in one of these neighborhoods, I'm, I'm sorry, because <laughs> it's probably not accurate because I made it up. But I think regardless, it shows uh, the power of this. Because one could imagine in this data set here, it would be nice to know as an indicator um, as to whether or not we're getting no-shows, whether or not the neighborhood of the clinic is a wealthy one or not. That may have some sort of uh, association with whether or not we get no-shows. So the problem here is we would like to enrich this data set here with some additional indicators. So what I'll go ahead and do, um, right next to neighborhood, I'll go ahead and click on the column there to highlight it. I'll right click and I'll hit insert. And I'm gonna call this wealthy, right? It's gonna match exactly what's here. So I'm gonna type in wealthy. And our goal is to essentially pull these values, which there's 81 neighborhoods total, um, to pull these values, the corresponding values for each of these locations here. Um, so we can sort of enrich the data set as we talked about before. So let's think about how we would do this manually. So if we were doing this manually, what we would do is take the name that's here, we would then go into this listing, find the name of it, which would be this one, and then pull the second column. That's logically how we would do this. Um, of course, there's over 110,000 rows in this data set here, so that would take us many hours, maybe even a few days. So that's really the power of the VLOOKUP formula is it actually follows that exact same set of operations I just talked about, where we find the name, we look for it, and then we pull the second column. It does all of that, but it does it automatically, and it does it in a split second. So let's go ahead and actually get this to work in terms of the VLOOKUP formula. The very first step we need to do is make sure all the data is in one place. Right now, the data, part of the data, of course, is in our main spreadsheet, but we have also data in the second worksheet. So what we'll go ahead and do is actually get this uh, data from this sheet here into our main sheet. Uh, and we talked about previously a couple ways of doing this. We talked about highlighting the data, copying it, creating a new tab, pasting it. Uh, and then we also talked about the way, which we'll do right now, of just right-clicking on the name of the tab. We want to move it in this case. We talked about this drop-down here that we can actually select a different workbook. So this workbook up here is called Wealthy Neighborhoods, but if we click the drop-down, it actually identifies our main workbook, which is this patient appointments one. So we'll select that. And then we're gonna tell it that once it imports it, take it to the very, very end. So we'll click Move End. And we really don't need a copy of this. We just wanna move the data to combine it into this primary sheet. So we don't need to check this create a copy option. So we'll click okay. And then just like that, this window here disappears. And now we have data over here uh, in terms of what was in that second listing. So that's the first step. We've combined all the data in one place in one workbook. And now we need to actually pull in those values for each of those neighborhood locations. And there's again, 81 of them here. Um, so let's start with the VLOOKUP formula. And as with every formula in Excel, they all start with equals. So we'll go to this very first blank space here that we want to pull in the values. We'll hit equals and we'll follow exactly the same rational steps we talked about about a minute ago. So we'll say the very first thing we'll do after we type in VLOOKUP here, we'll type in equals VLOOKUP, we'll open a parentheses, and we'll tell it, we'll tell the formula, what are we looking for? And of course, what we're looking for is that particular neighborhood in this particular case. And then we'll put a comma. And then the next thing we need to tell the formula is where to look. Where do you want me to find the other value that we're looking for? And of course, that was in that, that sheet, that additional sheet. We'll click over here. And then we'll actually highlight both of these columns in this particular case. So we'll tell it to search for data in these two columns. 
and then we'll go ahead back to our formula, we'll enter a comma. And then the second thing we need to tell it is, okay, once I've found that particular location, do you want this particular value or do you want the second column, right? First or second column. And of course we want this value. So we need to tell it, pull the value after you found that particular location, pull me the second column. So we'll enter the number two. And then lastly, we'll enter one more column. And this is always the case, we'll always enter false, which essentially tells the formula, always find an exact match. Um, I've never seen anyone use the word true in this case. So this will always be uh, something we always end our formulas with in terms of the VLOOKUP. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And there we go, it actually pulled in the value zero. Uh, and now the beauty here is we can pull this formula down and it automatically will populate those values all the way to the very bottom of the sheet. So instead of something taking us two days to do manually over 110,000 rows, uh, the formula in less than a second is pulling in those values very, very, very quickly.